Welcome back to Income Trading 101. Today is February 24th, 2022. I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you are watching oil prices uh, move around uh, based on Russia's um, entering the Ukraine. And you might be wondering how you can take advantage or even trade that oil uh, market. Some of you don't like to trade futures or don't have access to futures contracts. So um, one of the best ways to do it or another option as well to do it is through United States oil fund ETF shares. So uh, you can see we had a gap open, uh, had a high today of $70.24 and we're back down to 67.93 uh, but even at 67.93 that's still up uh, $1.68 uh, on the day so let's go ahead and do the way we always do and go ahead and take a look at uh, moving averages so I'm going to throw out three moving averages and switch them up I like once again if you guys have seen these videos I like looking at the 10 day the 20 and the uh, 60 I use the 10 as my uh, sort of buy signal the 20 is going to be my sell signal and then the 60 is just sort of a uh, a little bit of a historical perspective uh, because I always want to know where things are relative to where they have been so you can see all year long oil has been moving higher it started back in early December and we've just got a straight uh, movement up obviously a gap higher today is going to keep this uh, market going strong so still looking bullish even though today shows a big old red candle we'll see if it ends up I don't know if you guys look at candles uh, much at all but we'll see if it creates a wick or just like right now a straight uh, solid bar should be very interesting so I would expect it to pull higher and create a bit of a wick uh, before the day is over um, that's on the daily uh, side let's look at the uh, switch down an hourly for those of you who look at shorter term patterns and this tells more a much more complete story so look at this gap that we saw big gap move higher and it really has been moving lower since then and there have been some wicks here as well which can be an indication of where pricing is going to continue to head obviously right now with that gap higher it should be uh, it's definitely going to be bullish on the hourly and on the daily charts. When we drop down to like a 30 minute, uh, we might see a little different. So even at the 30 minute, we still have a bullish pattern because the 10, 10 period is higher than the 20, which is higher than the 60. Let's look at the 15. I'm just curious if that's going to switch it up. So at the 15 point, you have price actually moving lower than the 10. Uh, and pri price action itself is between the 10 and the 20 period so we'll see if this heads lower or not very very interesting we're gonna kick this back out to the daily get rid of these moving averages and jump over to a little bit of a MACD just to see what momentum is doing I don't expect a whole lot from this right now um, this is all gonna be very bullish uh, it's been bullish since back here in December and we're seeing how like when this when, when both the MACD and the signal line crossed into positive territory that definitely was bullish and it's really just staying in that overbought area and it can stay up here um, there's no period there's no limit or max to the number of days uh, a market can be overbought or oversold so we definitely will uh, wait and see um, see how this all plays out so not a lot of new information at the uh, daily level on the MACD let's see if there's anything so on the hourly chart uh, this crossed over earlier really uh, earlier this week uh, slash last week this would have been last Friday when this crossover changed and this has been strong since then um, we're going to look at the 30 minute as well 30 minutes shows a little bit more volatility but still very much above the zero line this crossed over last Friday as well and uh, has has just been uh, across here the, the the MACD and the signal line but then uh, both both of those went positive on Monday and have been uh, or really that would have been Tuesday um, because the market was closed on Monday so uh, for President's Day so since Tuesday 
we've been in the positive territory in the uh, in the overbought area, but it doesn't look like we are fully selling off just yet. So not as much uh, news on the MACD front. Let's just get up, get down to just some old school, uh, you know, graphing and chart analysis. I'm going to get rid of this. I actually want to uh, throw up a channel because this tends to be really um, what I like to look at the most. And it's these channels. You start looking at that. So there was a day when we were below this channel. So we had this over here. And then you, you can see pretty much going from point to point. We get most of the data within that channel, within this price moving up. And we finally poked out the top of the channel uh, uh, today. You can see this up here. So that's that's very um, still very much bullish. You would see on the low end of the channel, we would expect pricing somewhere in the $65 range. And in the high end, we still see uh, you know above $70.50. So there's still some room. There's some action to go uh, on this. And we could end up with some more gap days higher and lower. So you just want to make sure that you have the position on that you trust. Uh, probably wouldn't be a bad time actually to have some option positions on too. And this just gives us a sense. So uh, we're, not, we're not looking at uh, when, when you've got this sort of a price movement, you definitely don't turn around and use Fibonacci because there hasn't really been a retracement. But you can see, like if I you can see how prices really just continued to push higher. We had this one period back in really uh, November, late October to early December where pricing came off in oil and it's just moved higher at an even tighter and even better slope since then. So I think this was a an interim bear move uh, in between this much larger bullish pattern. And this takes us all the way to the pandemic, back to the beginning of the pandemic. So, you know, can this go much higher? Sure, we saw highs well above $100 pre-pandemic, which was only two years ago. So we may very well be moving back there in the USO ETF. So if this is something that you look at and, uh, and definitely want to trade, there are ways to put on a and structure a longer term bullish position. Like I specifically like looking at call, uh, call spreads or even just buying leaps or calendar spreads where you own the far out the leap option uh, and you can sell the shorter term, the interim options against it to finance the whole position. So anyway, that's it for USO today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I took about a six or seven month hiatus from making videos on this channel, mostly due to some uh, a, a few disagreements I had with the platform. But uh, I'm kind of through that and uh, I'm happy to be making videos again. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, uh, expect another, another video soon. All right. Take care. Happy trading.